What's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! I know, it's like mid-January and I'm hella late, but today is the first video of 2021, and how rude would I be to at least not wish you guys Happy New Year? If your year has been anything like mine, it's been a hella bumpy already, but you know what? We're gonna get through this together. So today's video is going to be a fun one. I decided to recreate um, somebody else's look. And I wanted you guys to give me your input. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might remember me posting a few photos and having you choose A or B. And obviously the one with the most popular votes wins. So today's look, as you can tell by what I'm wearing and how my hair is, is this gorgeous look over here. I had to decide between A and B and A obviously had the most popular votes. And I'm super excited to try this look because ever since I went blonde, I haven't really played with purple shadows. So I'm a little excited to go back into those purple hues and create this gorgeous look by I Love Sarai. Now of course we're gonna be giving credit where credit belongs. Now if you would like to put your input on what photo I'm going to be recreating for next month, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I will be asking you the same questions at the end of this month. If you are new to my page, consider subscribing. And if you see a little fur baby, that's my little Sonic in the background who's always with me. Now enough talking, let's get started with this look. Now this is something that I have not tried to do on my own. So you guys are not only going to see me recreate this look, on camera but this is going to be the first time I'm ever gonna attempt to recreate any of these looks from here and on so let's just hope it goes well because if it doesn't it's gonna be pretty embarrassing okay so I'm going to be doing my brows first but let me do that off camera real quick all right the brows are on and we are going to prime the lids now i don't really like using primers um i just got used to using foundation as a primer so i'm going to go ahead and do that with this flat brush that i bought mm, maybe a hundred years ago at sephora and it's still thriving baby so we're just going to go ahead and prime the lids real quick primed let me zoom you in I hate zooming you guys in to be honest but I feel it's gonna be the best way for you guys to really see what the hell it is I'm doing there's some people out there that are able to work one eye completely and then start fresh on the other eye and remember every single step they did I'm not that person. Whatever I do to one eye, I have to do it to the other because I will forget. Or I fear that one eye is just gonna come out a lot better than the other eye and we don't want that. If one fails, they both fail. You get me? We're just, we're all in it together. One's ugly, they're both ugly. Before we go in with color, I definitely want to set this foundation because powder on powder blends a lot smoother than cream on powder. So I'm just going to be using a regular translucent powder. You can't really see the packaging too much because it's all beat up, but it's by Remo and it's the transparent 001 color. And yes, I'm going over the brows. Boom, primed. Moving on, moving on. Now I don't have that cute little purple shade that she has, but we're going to just figure it out. Help. This is why I love the Morphe uh, James Charles edition. It's the mini palette um, because it has all these colors. The purple here is a little darker, but I think if I top it with a little bit of the holographic purple shimmer by Kat Von D Beauty, I think we can get something close. It's going to be a little on the shimmery side, but that's what we got. So that's what we're going to do. So I think I'm going to start by adding some of this pink right over here with just a regular blending brush. This is just going to map out how I want my eyes to be and also test out to see if this is the right pink. 
and it's something super super soft and by the looks of it I think I'm gonna need something a little more brighter but that's okay it's going to be my transition shade and it's hella light actually we are going to tap into that purple right here and I'm a little scared because it is a pretty dark purple and she has a very light purple tone so she has it mainly on the lid so let's do that put it on the lid and we'll start blending I don't want to move around everything that's on the lid too much because sometimes these bright colors come off really really easily oh great it looks like i just got beat up and now with this blending brush the same one i used i'm just going to blend those edges and i think that purple is slowly turning into the pink we need so write down in your comments I'm curious how's your year going I'll start off with mine mine's been going kind of bad um, it's been a roller coaster of emotions to be honest with you. Quarantine has really kind of gotten to me, but I'm trying real hard to just stay focused and just do me. Other than that, um, this is going to be, I know Valentine's is next month. Um, it's going to be my first Valentine as a married woman. So I'm a little excited i'm not really crazy on celebrating valentine which is kind of funny but this year we actually might do a little trip with a few other couples something different something that we haven't really done before so i think i'm a little excited about the trip to be honest with you i think i just your girl needs a vacation but other than that i hope all of you guys are doing good and i hope your year is doing a lot better than mine all right, I think, I think we kind of got it. I'm gonna go back in with the pink and see if that pink really does anything. Working with bright colors always scare me because the blending has to be perfect. Otherwise, they tend to look very muddy very fast. I'm gonna mix a little bit of white just to soften that pink a bit and to brighten this little brow bone on top. Looking cute. Now, let's see if this Kat Von D holographic purple is going to help bring all of this to a lighter shade. I don't mean to flip you guys off, but it's a lot easier to work with my middle finger. Okay, so, so far we're getting there. Um, I want to add a little more pink. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe 35C palette. And it has this cute little pink right over here. So I think I'm going to use a little bit of that. The purple did turn my crease a little pink. But I think I just want a little more just to help blend that on the crease. And I'm not going anywhere under that. Sweet. I think just for the fun of it, I'm going to go back with that holographic purple. And this time I'm going to use a brush and I'm going to spray it with some setting spray. So that I can really get that purple on here. I still see traces of that dark purple and I don't want that. So... I just want to really, really cover the whole thing. Oh man, I like how this is looking. Obviously hers looks a hundred times better, but that's the beauty about makeup. We're all giving each other ideas when we create these looks and you just make it your own. Okay, so let's clean up this eye. 
perfect. Now she has this really nice winged out liner so I'm gonna be using this doll face liquid liner you can purchase at any Rite Aid I believe I haven't seen it anywhere else I really low on my foundation so right now I'm just going to be mixing two of these cream foundation sticks and just try to figure out my shape that's what we've been doing I've been doing it for a while so I'm pretty good at getting my shade by now so I usually just <laughs> I look crazy I usually just apply a little bit all around and then I just start blending but don't let this confuse you if you guys are gonna try this look at home, obviously just use the foundation that perfectly matches your skin. But your girl's a little broke, so we have to work with what we have. And for concealer, I am a little low, so this is just what I've been doing. I use the same HD foundation by Makeup Forever, and I just conceal my under eyes. And then I go over it with one of the concealers I have. The reason why I don't like using this concealer all over is because this concealer um, sucks. So I only use a little bit of it. Conceal this area. It's just a little bit. Okay, so for my contour, I'm gonna be using the same foundation stick that I used on my face, and this one's by Black Opal. Apply these lashes real, real quick. What a difference lashes make, right? She has like this pinky little lip, so we're going to use this Huda Beauty um, lip pencil in the color Muse. After I line my lips like a little chola, I'm going to go over it with this Dose of Colors lip gloss in the color Petals. You see? Whoo, she pigmented. Like... A little definitely goes a long way. Okay, to achieve the color that she has, I'm gonna have to mix a few different glosses. So, you already saw that I used a dose. I think I'm gonna go on with a little bit of this Bare Minerals in the color Groovy. And I'm just going to layer my lips until I get that color. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this pink champagne by Victoria's Secret. Okay, that, that's a little better. I added a little bit of this Maybelline four, no, 945 Stormy Sahara right on top of it. I think I'm just going to add a little more gloss. The Victoria, which gloss, right? The Victoria's Secret gloss. I think we got it. So that pretty much completes the look. My battery did die for a second, so while it was charging, I did go ahead and added a little bit of highlighter right on the tear duct. I noticed her highlighter is a little bit more on the pink side, so I used the Kat Von D Holographic in the shade pink, um, just to give it a little bit of shimmer, and that's pretty much it. What do you guys think? Do you think I got pretty close to her? Let me just put her photo right back on here and you guys can compare. Let me know in the comments below if you think I got close to this look. Did I do a good job? Did I recreate it? Did I give you what you guys wanted? <laughs> Let me know and once again you guys thank you so much for watching and until next time take care. Bye.